I came in because I'm a veteran and I've, I've actually been looking for work for a while. I want to do things for myself and my family. I got a family and I, I need a job. The unemployment rate in Philadelphia inner cities is high. The unemployment rate for veterans incarcerated, unfortunately, in a lot of circumstances, even higher. So here on Allegheny Avenue, this organization, Impact, doing something to try to address that. Impact helps people address their needs, from housing to employment every day. But on this day, it went a step further. Along with Councilman Alan Dome and Lowe's, they took the time to prepare the community, mostly vets and ex-offenders, for an upcoming job fair. I know that I occasionally need help with my interview skills. The gentleman from Lowe's was able to, to give me a few pointers to work on things. For hours, people came in and went through mock interviews with Lowe's staff, who volunteered their time to prepare the visitors for the real thing later in February. It may not seem like a big deal to some, but when you consider the circumstances many are facing, being prepared could be life-changing. I was incarcerated three quarters of my life. You mind me asking how old you are? I'm 53. There's nothing going on good in these streets, so I need a job. The feedback was immediate, and unlike during real job interviews, the visitors were able to correct any issues that they had in hopes that they get the chance to work through the lack of interview experience that some have. I have a bad tendency uh, to veer from the subject occasionally, and uh, sometimes I catch myself, sometimes I don't. They gave me a couple tips and stuff that I think is going to be real useful in further interviews. The interview practice was important. But to me, it may be equally important that potential employers got a chance to see that some have made bad choices, some have had bad luck, but most were good people that you'd want working with you. I just want to do better with my life. Like, I just want, I, I want to change. Okay. You know I mean, I want to change. One or two bad decisions led to not having those better jobs. Okay. So now I'm, um, I'm having to kind of restart and rebuild. Within life, there is difficulties. But we uh, accept those difficulties and we continue on and uh, ultimately uh, the good will prevail. Nobody was feeling sorry for themselves. Nobody was looking to blame anyone. A local organization, local elected official, local business, and local residents all agreed that their goal was about helping each other do better so that their life can get better. For goodness sake, I'm Bill Anderson.